How are you guys doing again? It's me, Stan here, and I am going to be showing you guys how to take a simple design and just pizzazz it up some simple text. Now, this design I was something I was going to do for Black History Month, and I'm just using a pen tool right now to create some type of crack. Um, I was inspired by this design from something. I was listening to a song, and it came up, and I said, oh, it's Black History Month. Let me create uh, this design now I'm just using the pen tool and I just created this like bolt looking crack that's going to go through the design and just adjusting it to make it how I like it now what I need to do is kind of add a stroke to it to make it visible and I'm just going to increase that stroke a little bit and make it on the outside to about a three point font or rather I'm sorry thickness and right now, I'm trying to uh, move this down so I can add the word don't in here. And I'm just going to enlarge it just a little bit after I correct the spacing. And I don't want it to overpower, but I want it to be there as well. And when I do this small type of text, um, I just add in a little tab to make the spacing consistent but when I do this little text what I like to do is like put boxes on both sides so I'm going to see what it looks like at the same uh, width as it is on the actual T and I'm going to zoom in I'm going to stretch it out and I can't really tell where I'm stretching so I need to zoom out and then get run into this problem so I'm going to add some guides here to the edges of the design and then I am going to go ahead and zoom back in and stretch it out till I get to that uh, point there. All right, now what I also um, like to do or um, just pay attention to is just the way that the design lines up. And I'm just gonna put it over here and try to get it to line up perfectly. And on this design, I'm gonna end up playing with this a ton to actually get the spacing visible to where I like it. What I did in the beginning was I lined the word, uh, I'm sorry, the letters A-C-K up because they're the same on both. And then I just stared at it for a minute to try to figure out what exactly I was gonna do right now. I'm making a line just to make it easy for me to center um, the word don't. But I, now I just need to correct the spacing. All right, so that line is there and I'm just gonna take that line and copy it to the other side and we are good to go there all right now i'm just going to pay attention real quick to um the spacing like i said again between the l and the a the r and the a and i'm just going to adjust it just a little bit to try to figure out where i like it at and I'm, I want to make it like look consistent, but I definitely wanted the A, C, and K to line up on both of them. I was thinking I could enlarge it, and then I said if I enlarge it, the A, C, K will not be the same size. So now I'm down here playing with the C, K. And it's not really working out the way that I want it to, and this is just me being a perfectionist. Um, so what I'm going to end up doing is backing out of all of these changes that I made here. And I had an epiphany, as I will say. And what I'm going to do is I am going to make a new layer. I like to always hold on to my old ones. Make a new layer. And I'm going to start to work. And I'm going to create the outlines. And now I'm going to work with things individually. So I know that A, C, K is in the same place. Now I want the L to line up with the same distance from that A. And now I want to make sure the B lines up. Um, and I wanted to line up there. Okay, so the edges is lined up. Now it goes a little bit over, and the way that I'm going to account for that is I'm going to move these points out a little bit uh, using the pen. To, um, I'm sorry, the marquee tool again to um, really work with the points, and then I'm just going to adjust it. Now because the B hung over a little bit, I'm going to let the L keep some spacing on this side as well, and the last thing I need to do is make sure this is centered in the middle here. And I accidentally I'm on the wrong tool here. And I did it twice. So I need to get off and come back. 
boom and now I need to correct my spacing again um, for that so boom I'm using the shift and the down arrow to get it to jump a little bit higher than normal so this is uh, almost done I just want to increase the size of that line a little bit just to make myself feel better about it but I think this looks good um, and what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna just had another epiphany and I'm going to go ahead and try a separate design that more looks like a thunderbolt not like a crack so what I'm gonna go in and do is do some custom cracks in this design here again and I'm just gonna click click and just try to make these little zigzag angles don't have to be perfect I'm gonna go back in at the end and adjust all of the different uh, points to make them look the way I want them to look I want to turn off the stroke and I just want the white crack to be there. All right, and I'm just going to adjust these until they're perfect. Well, I like them rather. Um, just try to figure out where I want it to be. That looks pretty decent. All right, now I'm going to go and I'm going to figure out hey, I'm going to do the rest of the whole thing. And looking at it, I'm kind of looking at it like I could copy the whole thing there. I'm like, nah, I just want to make them all different. And I wanted to make them all look uh, unique to themselves. So I'm going to make each one individually and close it up here. And then I'm just going to turn it white. And that looks a little funky, right? So I'm going here and adjust the points a little bit. Now, I didn't want them to all look the same. So I'm just playing with it. I'm actually going to um, move it up and stretch it out a little bit it still looks like the one next to it, a little bit skinnier I'm going to rotate it a little bit move it around see where it should go and then I said you know I'm gonna reflect this bad boy I'm gonna flip it over see where it should go hmm. put it back over here looks a little different from the last one now but not really what I want uh, let me rotate it some more still just being a perfectionist I know you know, you, I could leave it, put it anywhere, really leave it. But I'm like, nah, this isn't really working out. So I'm going to straighten it up and I'm going to reflect it back the other way. Okay, and then I'm going to rotate it. And I want to do something a little bit different. I want to stretch this bad boy across the whole point. And now I didn't want to stretch it too much to make it weird. So I just wanted to move the front point so it goes down into the other side of that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stretch it just to hair and I like that right there looks pretty decent right there so now I'm just gonna start on my next one I didn't figure I did some big cracks small crack would be nice um, and so I just make a small one here boop, boop, and then I need to change that color to white all right that was an easy one no no real adjustment there um, now I'm just gonna again same thing here Let's see what we got. And it's crazy, you know, what I didn't do. Uh, I, now that I'm looking back at it, I should, probably could have um, made one of these, like this C right here, have a crack at the top and the bottom. But this one looks a little funky, so I need to adjust it. That looks a-okay. A little bit more adjusting. Stretch that point. Boom. That looks good. And now we need to get the K going. So the K, I figured I could do a huge one kind of across it. Turn it white again. Boop. And boom, stretch it down. Fix it up just a little bit. That looks good. So now I think I like that. Now I'm just going to step back and look at um, these lines, I'm going to make it bigger on this one to kind of fit just inside of there. Same size almost as that one. And that one looks good. Comparing them a little bit. Right now, I'm making a new layer. I like to always work on new layers once I finalize something. I'm creating outlines of both of them. Um, and what I'm going to do is I need to apply this. So I'm looking at it, trying to figure out which one I like. And it's obviously the bottom one looks a lot better to me. So I'm going to put that on a new layer by itself, and now I'm going to enlarge it. And I'm just going to use the uh, Pathfinder to separate the black and the white, and I'm going to ungroup it. 
use my magic wand tool to select the white and delete it. So now we have a finalized file. So, so I decided that I need to, of course, make this all look official. So I'm going to drop it in on one of our, you know, mock-up capital mock-ups. So I'm going to take our design and I'm going to drop it on here. I'm going to obviously resize it to a good looking size. I'm going to drop it down here. I'm going to turn this off. I want to move this around a little bit here. All right. I do love black on black, but we're not going to do black on black for this one. So I'm actually going to make it gold. So I just Google the gold texture here. And I'm going to put this over top of it, just like a nice gold texture. I'm going to right click this, create clipping mask. And we see how that affects this. Let's see which angle we want. I like the original angle is fine. Okay. All right. Now I want to just move this around a little bit and resize it just a little bit more. So we'll make it nice and big. And then just to give it a little bit of a better effect we're going to just add like a nice little bevel to it a little bevel to it and we're going to adjust the depth so depth I'm not really liking it here let's see we set the defaults see if we can get it to look a little better I think we'll go with the emboss. Yeah, just slightly. Just slightly. Just give it a nice little effect, like kind of what the uh, foil would give it. So now I got to look in official so that I can present it in the right way so now i'm gonna say peace out and i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh -huh.